right. Got my... Buenas noches. <laughs> Hola, mi nombre es María del Carmen Uceda. Thank you. I'll go easy, I'll do it in English. I am the CEO of Vida Sana's Healthy Lives platform, and I am a health wildcatters company. We are in the Latinization of wellness for Latino engagement, and let's see, get this working. There we are. For the last 10 years, I have been successfully implementing health outreach and faith-based behavior change programs for Latinos. And we have seen the lack of wellness programs to prevent disease for Latinos. I mean, just look at the statistics. We've got people with diabetes, Alzheimer's, obesity, cardiovascular disease, one in two Latinos that will develop diabetes. And the employers and the health systems can't bear these painful costs. Now we know that science tells us that the best place to engage people to change behaviors is where they work. However, one size fits all wellness programs don't work for Latinos. They have to integrate, tailor, integrate the values that we have of faith, family, and fidelity. And for lasting behavior change, we also need to integrate access, support, and knowledge. And there is our oportunidad. So our solution is a bilingual health and lifestyle education platform for the health systems and for the employers. And so we offer uh, mobile um, content that's evidence-based, very engaging. We have interactive video, we have novelas, which are soap operas. We have uh, social learning and gamification. We also work with our workforce of independent peer guides uh, who help scale, and we also build these and monetize these Latino wellness networks. The value proposition for the employers is that we save them money. We save them money in HR, productivity, turnover, and healthcare costs. For the health systems, they're looking for new patients and engaged Latino patients for the value-based outcomes. Our benefit comes from the recurring revenue from our employers. We have the $4 per employee per month and the health systems who pay us that monthly fee or per member per month. We are very proud to announce that we have our first revenue paying client in Tenet, Texas region. Thank you. We are launching our pilot in Garland, Rowlett, and then we are going in our beta. We're going to expand throughout Dallas, Fort Worth. We are going to add more content from our partner universities, and we are going to, with Tenet, scale throughout Texas and grow nationwide. So let's show you our solution at work. I want you guys to meet Dolores. She's so fortunate to have our solution because she's been feeling depressed, tired, and just can't focus at work. So she is being engaged by us with our health campaigns, our online videos on thyroid disease. So she feels empowered to go visit Dr. Luis, who's with Tenet, of course, and he does prescribe medication and lifestyle education. So he sends her back to our platform where she enrolls in a seven-week course and thanks to her peer coach and support group, she transforms into a healthier, happier, more productive employee. When we engage Latinos, they want to better their lives and they have a greater experience and they are loyal to us, the employer and the health system. Our team is experienced entrepreneurs. Uh, we have skill sets and expertise ranging from prevention, community, medicine, wellness, faith-based approaches, contracting with ACO and payers, mobile health, and of course, we know how to recruit our workforce. Now, we have an unfair advantage over the competitive landscape, which is very busy. There's a lot of wellness companies, but no one is Latino-based. And by the way, one in every entrant into the workforce will be Latino in the next five years. So the market size is $12 billion. Our uh, low-hanging fruit are the 3,000 uh, small and medium-sized companies in Dallas-Fort Worth. They have large Latino populations. We also connect with the large employers because our solution is a plug-and-play. And we've already entered the patient engagement solutions market with Tenet and its accountable care organization. So our next steps with funding, we complete our beta rollout with Tenet Texas Region, develop the online training certification of our workforce, 
content technology so that we dominate wellness. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's good timing. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Questions. Yes. That's right. There are Latinos like myself. We're assimilated. We're educated. We want our information in English. Well, we've identified just alone in Dallas Fort Worth. There's a lot of companies that are manufacturing. They have a large Latinos populations, but the non uh, I just want to make uh, emphasize that the non-Latinos benefit because our platform is bilingual. So everyone benefits. I love that about that. So when we go into the companies, it's not Latino, it's bilingual, um, health and lifestyle education. Uh, but yes, the, the workforce predominantly, we, we, there's 25 million working Latinos in U.S. And so we want to reach these small, medium-sized companies because nobody's catering to them. But then you have the large employers and they have all these huge wellness companies. We're just going to plug in our solution so that we can reach Latinos who are really getting, I mean, so many, they're young Latinos, I mean, millennials are coming into the workforce. So it's a huge opportunity and uh, we're very uh, excited to uh, be doing this because it's crowded and no one is Latino focused. Yes. Uh, well, I'm Bill the White guy. Family, familia. Well, you know, for Latinos, it's 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 we we that's our values, and you know, if we're going to put a wellness program that connects with us, that that's a given. It has to be in there. So. Uh, we um, are, have been working for the last 10 years grassroots, and we just know that that's important for that population. But it's interesting enough, I worked for a year with my uh, black, you know, we had a black-brown coalition. They love this. When we bring in the spirituality, when we bring the social back into medicine, I think that's what people really want. And so why we make everything bilingual? Because at the end of the day, you know, I know we've got all the Fitbits and all the technology, but it's about human connections. It's about helping the patients connect with their physicians, relationship. So I think that speaks to everyone, not just Latinos. But it's time that we bring that social, that spiritual back into medicine, and the doctors love this. They love this approach. Anybody else? Yes, in the back. Yeah. Our secret salsas, you know, it's the faith-based. No wellness company is doing faith-based approaches to health and well-being. Second salsa is that we have experts. How many, how many here are scientists and researchers? Just raise your hand. Okay, doesn't it frustrate you when you have great ideas and programs that are on the shelf, don't get implemented to the community? We are signing our first licensing, licensing agreement with a world-renowned expert that looks to us to translate and adapt their messages and content and get it out into the community, implement it. So that's another huge differentiator about us. But truly, it's a community that creates health. And when we bring those human connections and we bring that social you know, back into this process of change because it's not overnight, uh, powerful transformation takes place. And we've seen that for years. I was a nonprofit, and I saw that powerful uh, transformation. I just said, you know what? As a for-profit with technology, let's get it out to the masses. So that makes us very unique and very different. Yes? I'm an atheist, but I think that your staff of um, it being religious is going to work for you. Yes. Because Alcoholics Anonymous and all that is, is definitely a very good thing. It builds community. Really does. Very, very powerful. Yes? So you talked about how you actually put these values uh, which I think resonate more with the South in general, not just not just the uh, Latinos exclusively, but yes. perhaps more of the northern states. You know, Latinos and me maybe be a bit, a bit different. But um, how do you actually engage the uh, religious and familial involvement as part of the program? How does that actually work? Yeah. In terms of uh, we saw an individual right. and their individual transformation, but how did yeah. 
So uh, that's what I'm known naturally for. I mean, I've developed this forgiveness process. I'm an expert in integrating the faith, prayer, social back into any healing process. I wanted to focus on the behavioral health because Latinos, if you look at the Medicaid rosters, psych, uh, bilingual psychologists, 0.01%. So I focus on that area. But we know how to integrate that, and we're, bringing, we're teaching physicians on how to do it together. So thank you. Okay.